I'm Rebecca of Pocket Full of Posies. Today's project is actually part one of a series. I am going to be releasing every week for the next couple of weeks a part of my 1890s Jiminy Cricket costume that I am in the process of making. So today's project is the skirt. I decided to do an 1890s fan tail skirt and I used a pattern by Black Snail Patterns and I have linked that down below. So let's get started. Here we go. So I follow the directions. Um, the back, this is the back of the skirt. And the, so the back of the skirt, um, the pattern only came this length and it said to lengthen 23 and a half inches. So I did that. And yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to um, I mean I definitely can't cut it out doubled up. Um, I may have to piece it. So there we go. I did my best pinning and cutting out the back pieces. It is a huge piece. Then I cut out the front, pocket, plackets, and waistband pieces. Next, I cut the darts on the front piece. I pinned the synthetic horsehair to the hem on the right side. I cut it in half for the front, no idea why. Okay, I have started putting the skirt together. Um, I pinned it to a dress form just to check the length. Um, so I'm going to do a pretty narrow hem because I think if I don't it will be too short. Um, but that should be fine. Um, I don't want it to touch the ground. I want it just right above the ground. So nothing is um, sewn together yet. I pinned the darts in the front. Um, I also wanted to just check to make sure to make sure that it was sitting like that the side panels lined up correctly and everything since I did you know add the length to the back piece so let me turn her around so you can see the back okay here is the back and I just eyeballed those pleats in the back just to get it on the form to see how it was going to fall and I think it's great it is a little bit longer in the back um, but I think because it's that's correct because it should be worn with a small bustle pad so or a, you know a small bum pad so I think that will work out well so going to I need to iron the fabric before I really start pinning it I just wanted to check check the length first I ignored my own idea and started sewing the horsehair braid to the bottom next I worked on the plackets I sewed the bottom edge of the right placket, trimmed the seam allowance, turned it right side out, and marked the stitch line. Then I sewed the back seam to the stop mark. I pinned the right placket in place and sewed it down. I then sewed the left placket facing. 
I zigzagged the raw edges on the placket for extra stability. Then I ironed all the skirt pieces. I sewed the darts on the skirt front. Next I started pinning the side seams. I pinned the pocket pieces to the front and back pieces. Then I sewed the right side seam. I should have sewn the pocket pieces on first, but I did it out of order. Don't know why. <laughs> I sewed the pocket pieces to the skirt pieces. Then I pinned the pocket pieces together and sewed them closed. It was at this point that I realized that I had put the front pieces on backwards and thus sewed up the side seam and pocket facing the wrong way. Rather than unpick that, I thought I would make a fake French seam in the back, which I did, and then it dawned on me that I had already sewed the hem facing, the horsehair stuff. I also couldn't find my seam rippers. So, So, you know, sometimes you just have days where you make a bunch of stupid mistakes and today is one of those days. So, as you have seen, I have made a mistake, a big mistake, and put my front panel on backwards, which then led me to sew one of the side seams the wrong direction as well as the pocket. So now I'm going to unpick this side seam and the pocket and redo that. And hopefully my very dreadful idea without thinking of <laughs> Just oh, I'll just make a I'll just make the back seam a fake French seam. Not even thinking, you can probably hear Hercules, he wants in. Not even thinking, oh, I've already turned up the hem. So I can't change the direction at this point. So I unpicked all that and it has you can see the little stitch holes. So that is what it is. Hopefully once when I'm wearing it, um, it won't be super noticeable, but that is the situation as it stands. So now I'm going to unpick this seam and flip the front and redo this seam. All right, here we go. I set to work repairing my mistake. I started by sewing the left side seam. Then I did what I should have done in the first place and sewed the pocket pieces to the right side seam edges. Next I sewed up the right side seam. I repinned the pocket pieces together and sewed them together. I used a whip stitch on the left side placket facing after folding it to cover the raw edges. Okay, got it put together. I need to put the waistband on and finish the hem, but she's looking good. I flatlined the waistband pieces with leftover twill from Freya, my dress form. Then I pinned the waistband outside pieces together as well as the inside lining pieces. And I sewed them together. My next step was to pin the waistband and lining together at the top, right sides together.
I sewed them together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Next, I attached the inside waistband lining to the waist of the skirt. I went in a straight line across the pointed section. Then I turned the waistband right side out and pinned the outside waistband to the skirt, folding up the seam allowance to the inside to encase it between the layers. My camera didn't focus on it, but I used a whip stitch to tack the waistband down to the skirt. Next, I added two sets of hooks and bars to the waistband for closures. And finally, I used a long whip stitch to attach the top of the horsehair facing, trying to keep my stitches on the outside as small as possible. I've been, since I worked on Freya last, I'm calling everything she. <laughs> Alright, she is done. <laughs> the skirt is done. Um, want to make sure it fits. Okay. Now, I did not add any snaps. Um, yet, but I think I'm going to add a couple of snaps there. Okay. Of course, this will be worn over a petticoat and everything, but the fit looks pretty good. Um, it is a little snug. I probably could have given myself some extra room. Um, I think I think it's fine sitting, you know, at my smallest point, it's going to have to go over several layers. So, but I can move, I can move um, the bars just a little bit to give me a little bit of room if I need, if I need it. So, all right. good place. I only put in one pocket, not two, <laughs> but excellent. So final thoughts on this project. If I were made this, I would definitely line it or flat line it. The taffeta is thin enough that the outline of the darts is visible as well as my shirt buttons. Lining would also help it hang better throughout. I would also give myself a little more room in the hips. All in all, I really like it, and I think it will be a great part of my Jiminy Cricket ensemble. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, please do so. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. So stay tuned for the next project in this Jiminy Cricut series, and that will be the vest. I'll see you next time on our sewing adventures. Bye.